welcome back to The Bright Side. Macy here, The Bright Side Girl, and today we're doing my Scallywagathon TBR. So I have been waiting for them to announce this TBR since March because it's normally in March. This one is hosted by The Hardback Hoarder, and it is a pirate-themed readathon. I will link the announcement uh, video down below. It's really cool. There's an interactive map. You can kind of choose your own adventure. I wasn't going to do it because I have so many things that I want to get to in August, and I kind of use it as a catch-up month but I think I'm able to fit some of those things into the readathon, so we're just gonna talk about what I'm going to try to read next week. So I'll put a picture of the map right here, so you can kind of go and check out her website to kind of figure out where everything goes, but the first starting point is to read a book by a popular author. That one I'm gonna try to squeeze in God's Grave because I've been dying to get to this. Jay Kristoff is a super popular author, and I am really, really into this series right now, so this is book two in the Nevernight series. Then I'm gonna move on down to number seven, which is Precious Cargo, read a middle grade. And for that, I'm going to pick Beyond the Bright Sea. This is a Scott O'Dell uh, Historical Fiction Award winner, and it was on my TBR for Mermaid Marathon, and I didn't get to it. It's got like islands and ships and magical goodness in it. The next section I'm going to is B, and that is read a book that's three plus years old, which pretty much all of these will count for. And for that, I'm going to pick The Princess Bride by William Goldman. I've actually never read this book, and I really need to because I love it, and it has pirates in it and adventure, and I'm excited. That was actually prompt A. <laughs> that, I go to number nine, which is the last one, I believe. That's Black Sails, choose a book with a black cover. For that one, I'm actually gonna choose Black Souls by Nicole Casterman. This is a full-on piratey book. It might be Peter Panish. I'm not entirely sure, but yay. I'm really pumped because I got this last year. And then the only other thing I might try to squeeze in on audio because I've had it on hold for a while is The Beholder by Anna Bright because this is like a girl doing her like European tour uh, to like find love on a boat. It's supposed to be like the selection meets like ocean adventures. I've had it on hold on overdrive for a long time and I just keep like extending the hold. So I'd like to get this one done too. I don't know if I'll be able to do all that. Readathons have kind of been iffy lately, and I don't want to put too much intention on this readathon because I have my own readathon coming up at the very end of the month, the hikeathon, which I will leave up here in the cards, and I want to put a lot of focus and energy there. So we'll just see what I'll be able to do. Let me know if you're participating down below in the comments. I'd love to chat with you about it, and I'll see you guys next time on the bright side. Bye.